today I'm going to take this palette and I am going to turn it into a basically a planner. Okay. Uh, they don't turn out too bad and they're free. You can get palettes all over the place. You just got to ask people for them. Now I've chosen this palette here just to fit my needs. Uh, I actually have two of these identical so I can do four uh, flower boxes the same. You can get two boxes out of each one of these palettes. Um, and it only requires minimum tools. Minimal tools. All right. Now, all I'm going to be using is a hammer. Uh, I'm going to class this in the tools section. It's actually a piece of pallet that I use to make a jig. We'll show you what that's for. And I'm going to be using a sawzall. I do not recommend using a circular saw. Uh, if you accidentally cut into a nail or something, it can kick back and do a lot of damage. Uh, you do not have to have a saw saw if you don't have one. A hand saw will work fine. Um, I'd probably be using a hand saw if I knew where one of mine was. But I have a bunch of kids and I have no idea where they are. So, saws all. Now, I have made, me and my father have made a tool for tearing pallets down. This is not necessary, uh, but it's extremely nice. Um, I don't know if I've put a video on about making this thing. We actually made it. Uh, out of some pretty thin steel to start with and it worked fine for pine pallets but not oak pallets. I destroyed like three of them and we just kept on making it stronger and stronger until we come up with this and this will tear down oak pallets no problem. But uh, if you, you know, don't class this as a tool you need. Uh, you can use uh, a pry bar or if you're really good with a hammer, you can just use a hammer, all right? Uh, and this will be for a very small portion of it. We'll get to that in a minute. But, uh, all right, let me show you the first step. We don't need the hammer. You won't need any screws or fasteners, nails, anything like that. Uh, we'll be reusing everything that's on this pallet. You're going to end up with three pieces of scrap about that big and that's it everything else will be put to use uh, the only time you're gonna need some fasteners for this is mounting it where you want it to go all right now I'm gonna ask my wife to come over here and give me a hand uh, she's in the background <laughs> let me plug in my saw real quick handy, handy, handy dandy assistant here handy dandy <laughs> assistant. Huh? He thought that was funny. I'm the boss. I'm the boss. You coming to help, Tom? All right, we're gonna have to relocate this bit because my cord's not gonna reach. Oh. So let's do a little repositioning. Right there. Let's get a little closer. Oops. All right, I'm gonna explain the jig. All right, and this is a extremely simple. All you need is, I just took a piece of pallet, okay, one of the slats, and I cut me a random slant to it, all right? One that I was happy with. I did not do any measuring. I, I did not pick up a tape measure for this whatsoever, any of the job. And all this is for is to give me the same line when I cut this board on this side as it will on the other side. That's all it's for, okay? So I'm actually going to put this on here and I'm just going to flush it up to the back and then my wife is going to go ahead and cut this with the Sawzall and that's it. Thanks. I guess to show how easy it is. To show how easy it is. <laughs> it's going to make her feel better. Alright. Now, all you have to do is stick your blade 
Okay. Lengthways. Okay. Stick your blade lengthways. Flush up again this board. Okay? You don't have to have that shoved all the way up. You can hold it down. Alright? In the right position, and you're just going to use that as your guide. <laughs> Here we go, guys. All right, now she didn't keep perfect with the line, but that's all right. You're making this out of pallets. It's not all brand new wood, so it's not a big deal. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut the other one. Now the way I'm lacing this uh, jig is I'm putting the point, okay? top of the slack so it, it's going to be you know about the same for each one all right comes in okay uh, if you're good with a hammer you can take these and just knock them down jar your arm out you can also uh, I don't recommend taking a pry bar and sticking in here if you're gonna use a pry bar or a board or something I recommend you put it in here and use it as a brace so you would actually Of this board. Hi. Hey, short <laughs> stuff. You're in the camera. <laughs> Come on, you nut. <laughs> uh, you would pry it in there, stick it against the ground, and then you can just smack it. Now, there's a fair chance you're going to damage some of these boards that way. So, we have this. Because I can hook this, pry it back, and it grabs the whole board, and I can pop it right off. But we tear down a lot of pallets, so that's why I made this. that we would be using no uh, ne or needing no nails or anything because we're going to reuse these. These are actually in the perfect place to line up with the other boards. Now I noticed some of mine actually stayed in so I'm going to have to pull those out and straighten them and then I'll nail them in. But that's okay. I don't mind. Now I am going to tap them back Let's 
so that I can nail them in nice and neat. Now, this is extremely easy. Uh, one pointer to this is you're probably going to have some overhang. All right. Make sure it's going to be to the front. I'm just going to flush up my ends. Make sure the back is nice and flush. And my nails are already lined up to the boards. And that's it. That's all there is to it. I might pull out one more of these nails and put it in the end. But uh, I'll mount it on here. And we'll probably do something like put a little sign on this. That's why I left it straight. You can angle it if you want. But I'm just going to use that as a nice straight surface. Now you can actually, if you cut these uh, straight, you can actually mount these. The bottom's not in this one yet. Uh, mount them right on top of each other like this. Uh, and they work great for strawberries. Um, you can even do them double sided. Uh, just screw them together. They work fantastic for strawberries for that as well. Don't go upstairs to find it. I, I will. We'll come and help in a minute. Close the door. You won't do this. Wait, just close the door. We're almost done. We'll help you. Okay. The A. Well, tell him mom said. Oh, okay. All right. Dad, help me, Will. Close the door. 